Hello everyone. This is Bhupesh. Welcome to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone who's ever listening and watching this video from anywhere from the world. Today, today, as you know, today we'll be discussing about uh, another very important topic on Grafana. That how do you install Grafana, and then finally you need to secure that Grafana over HTTPS, so that uh, you know you can have a secure connection. And we'll be using a you know a certain methodology like and select encrypt and search manual. We'll talk about it in a while. So so it is not a vanilla installation of Grafana. We'll be doing some kind of you know securing your URL of Grafana with the help of DNS. So if you have you know till now if you've not watched this playlist, please do watch it. Uh, which is under the Grafana playlist, and it has a lot of videos. So do like and subscribe the channel to get all the related videos from Grafana and Kubernetes. Okay. So doing a quick recap, what we have done so far, we have started with our uh, you know Grafana setup on Kubernetes cluster, and then when we did a Jira integration, further we did a lot of videos on PromQL, uh, Grafana dashboard, alert, uh, implementing Locky for getting the log, and then we did. Tempo for Grafana tracing, and then we install certain you know, database and how to monitor those databases using Grafana like MongoDB, and then we did a Cognito authentication, the LDAP authentication with AWS uh, for user management, and then we did X509 exporter uh, installation and configuration to manage you know to monitor all the Kubernetes TLS secret, and then we did a black box exporter uh, installation and uh, monitoring using Grafana. MySQL and Postgres. So there are a lot of videos you can just quickly go and check it uh, from the from the you know uh, description of this uh, video. So today we'll be first of all you uh, know doing a, a brand new installation of Grafana onto the Kubernetes cluster, and then we'll have a uh, Nginx uh, you know load balancer to, to reroute your traffic to a particular DNS, and then we'll use SLED secret for uh, creating a secret, a free secret in a website. And then we'll take it to our domain, and finally we'll do that automation with the help of third manager, so that you don't need to, you know, uh, uh, I would say reset that secret after every three months. We'll talk about it, you know, quickly with the help of examples, so that it becomes still clear. If you have not watched the previous videos on uh, uh, Nginx, you can simply go and watch it in the Kubernetes playlist. The link is there. Okay. So let's quickly see the practical example or practical implementation of this entire piece. What we need to do in a nutshell, we need to install Grafana, and then uh, we need to have a load balancer to route your traffic from external DNS to a particular load balancer, and then to the Grafana service. And then we'll use Let's Encrypt and Search Manager to do that. Okay, fine. So there's a GitHub page also for achieving this entire practice. You can simply come here and I've renamed this. Page has rename, you know, readme cert manager MD. So you can simply run all these steps one by one and you can get your Grafana up and running. Perfect. So let's get started. So if you are not having the K3D uh, mini cube cluster, you can simply install it using these commands. Since my cluster is already running, I'll not run this. So you can see my mini cube cluster is running and has a lot of different namespaces. Or if you are installing it onto the cloud uh, cluster, you can simply ignore this first step. Okay, now come on to the next second. Step. Now, if you're not watched this Nginx ingress controller video, you can simply go watch it. I'll can paste the uh, link into the description section also. Now, why we are installing ingress con controller? Uh, we need a controller that that can route all your uh, you know, outside requests to a particular service. And that can be done with the help of your Ingress controller. So we'll be installing an Nginx. Nginx is open source uh, Ingress controller. Uh, there are a lot of Ingress controllers available, but in Nginx is one of the popular ones, widely used. So that will be installed using the Selm chart. Okay, it will be installed into this Ingress Nginx namespace. And once it's installed, then it will create a load balancer. Now that load balancer is responsible for creating all the different traffic. Uh, the ingress rules basically. We'll we'll see in a while, and then further we will install third manager Helm chart. Now, why the third manager is needed? Because uh, to to publicize your Grafana, you need to have a secret, uh, not the uh, you know the open SSL secret, but yeah, a proper uh, secret uh, which can be automated properly, like you know with the help of third manager. So, so let secret is one of the organization which 
uh, let's encrypt basically let's encrypt is this is the uh, open source free uh, you know organization which is managing all your secrets uh, non profit authority which is signing all your you know the certificates so that can also be automated properly with the help of hack cert manager so you don't need to create a second and then renew it after every three months or six months so that will be taken care by cert manager so that is the reason we are installing cert manager into this cert manager namespace and then with the help of label we'll issue this cluster issuer and then finally we'll install grafana so let's quickly get started with this so first of all we will install the nginx uh, you know controller onto your namespace so what i'm doing i'm just uh, installing this helm chart uh, from this repo into this uh, namespace if namespace is not there it will just you know get it treated for you So it will take some time to run this. Let me just simply check check the same PNS. So I'm going to this ingress uh, namespace. Okay, it is still installing. Okay, so you can see the revision has been increased for that is 15th of October, which is today's date, and 16:43 current timestamp. So let's see whether the pod is running or not. Pod is successfully running. Let me see the service. Okay, so what it does actually, it is creating a load balancer which is responsible for getting all the traffic request from outside world, and we will use this, you know, ingress controller to, you know, route the traffic to our Grafana endpoint. We'll see it in a while. So this is what is the ingress control has been so has been installed, and you can see this is the ingress pool that we need to create on top of it. Yeah, this is the ingress pool. And then it requires a secret. So this is the secret which we need, and we will create it using Let's Encrypt, and that is being done by Cert Manager. So all these things are interlinked within, you know, between each and each, each other. So once this ingress is installed, now let me show you how your Grafana talks to your DNS. So okay, so this is your uh, ingress to rule that will help you to route your uh, uh, okay, so we'll talk about this in a while. Let me first of all complete the installation. Okay, so Ingress is installed. Now let me install the, uh, you know, search manager, Helm chart. You don't need to worry. You need to just, you know, simply run these steps one by one into your cluster, and it will do the. Uh, so we need to add this search manager repo. I'll do a repo update. And then uh, it will do a installation of certain manager helm chart. It will install certain CRDs, custom resource definitions, which will help you to manage your uh, automated secret. Okay. Now we are installing this third manager into the third manager namespace. Right. Now it will install the third manager and will bring up one pod, which will make sure that your um, it will communicate to the to the let's encrypt uh, D, uh, you know database and it will show your secret okay so third manager is also installed let me see hl okay fourth revision is deployed in october let me see the ports also the port is up and running okay so there are injector webhook and everything is up and running finally so your third manager helm chart is up your nginx is up now we need to do a issuer now what is the cluster issuer crd now what this will do it will create a secret. Okay. Now let's encrypt what is just the name of the secret and cluster assure, which is nothing but the proprietary of third manager Helm chart. Okay. And it will communicate to this server your let's encrypt uh, directory. You can see and it will store, store and, uh, you know, validate your DNS secret. So I'm just giving my email ID for the authentication purpose. And I'm creating Nginx based, uh, you know, uh, ingress controller. Now I'll just install the cluster issuer uh, K apply. Okay, cluster uh, issuer is there. It is you know unchanged. I just did it some time back. Cluster issuer. Let me do a K get. Okay, it is there and it is ready also. So you can see uh, hash key map. This is the URL where it will store all your uh, secrets. And this is registered with the you know, let's encrypt the repository. 
fine so it will store all your secrets here and it will renew also now the moment i will hit the installation of grafana the cluster issuer is also up now the moment i install grafana uh, with certain you know values it will just simply create a secret in your cluster and it will you know store the secret into that directory also that will be used to secure the connection now let me show you this before i install grafana let me show you this grafana public.yaml okay now grafana public.yaml is nothing but a additional you know yam you know yaml file that will be passed when i run this cube prometheus stack helm chart so this you know this this installation is pretty uh, you know straight forward i'm installing grafana stack which contains you know prometheus and grafana and certain exporters like node exporter and cube uh, state matrix for capturing the matrix but on additionally i'm just passing this in yaml file now let's see what are the values that are present in this you know yaml file now what i'm saying i'm passing grafana in i now server now this is the this should be a valid dns currently i don't have a dns you know available so you can simply replace this with the with your dns and it works properly there's no there's no doubt in this simply uh, replace your dns in a domain from here and protocol into mention is http and it will cater both http and https now this will be your complete url of your grafana why i've added slash grafana so that you don't need to worry about slash backslash grafana normally the dns the url is like this but you need to add slash grafana at the end fine now this uh, ingress enabled true now why this ingress enabled is true because there's an nginx controller that has already been installed on your machine and the ingress rule will get created now what that ingress rule will do it will simply you know redirect whenever anybody is typing this domain into your public your and uh, your public internet it will redirect from here to your ingress rule and it will uh, ingress rule will redirect to your grafana service using the secret which is actually managed by let's see secret and a uh, 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 and third manager basically right and how this is tagged to search manager you can see this label so this this is always being you know clubbed between three three components so installation of grafana using a public dns and and how it will get the secret for uh, you know securing it will take the secret from here now from where the secret will get generated this secret will get generated from this annotations the cluster issuer let's encrypt prod because this we have used in our cluster issuer you see we what we are saying my uh, certificate will come from here my certificate will come from the search manager.io cluster issuer with this label and then this will get generated for this domain the only thing you need to make sure that this domain is publicly available and it is registered under your bucket i hope this yaml file is you know is now understood to you if it's not i'll just try to pin it pin it again because this is very very important to understand so if i install my grafana without this file it will brand you know do a vanilla installation and it will not you know secure your grafana publicly that the moment i add this file what i am saying please have the additional configuration over it in with that chart the so domain should be this okay now if i don't include this pieces so grafana will not secure it will just run on http but this time we need to secure grafana also so what i am saying please en enable the ingress okay and uh, add this annotation which is nothing but this this will fetch the secret tls secret uh, from uh, this cluster issuer okay and it will create a you know proper uh, valid secret for this domain and it will bring it that secret to here the secret name see under this nginx class so let's quickly run this without wasting time so that you can get a picture of how it works and what happens actually we'll copy this command come here see my main intention for every you know Uh, quick videos to do the practical work so if you see what i've done quickly uh, rolling creating cluster is, is okay uh, first of all install the nginx ingress controller for routing the traffic via load balancer and then installing cert manager for managing your you know, let secret uh, charts and you know, also let secret uh, certificate sorry and then cluster issuer to handling all those secrets and finally installing grafana 
uh, using cert manager and your uh, ingress now let's see whether the installation has completed the installation has done and let me do the checking also so i can see let me go to the matrix namespace okay i'm to matrix namespace shl my grafana is upgraded it's 15th of october let me see the pod pods are up and running okay grafana pod is um is grafana pod okay grafana pod is, pod is running that let, let me see the ingress also okay grafana ingress so you can see abc dot domain dot norm so let me just show you this ingress now what this will do now this is an ingress rule actually and what it is saying whenever uh, then this ingress rule has certain labels like this, this is the label okay what this rule is saying whenever anyone anyone is hitting this abc.domain.com http it will just simply route to the grafana service on port number 80 and if anybody is hitting https slash abc.domain.com it will first of all secure this the url with the help of this secret and it will this is the load balancer ip so this is how its communication is happening now uh, since i've installed everything i simply go and see the service you get service yes it's a grafana service since i don't have a you know valid domain name so but still i want to show how it will look like the moment you hit you know, before i you know go there so let's first of all this is a secret whether the tls secret is here so you can see the tls secret is also available and it got installed the moment i installed that helm chart so you can see tls secret and then check the contents of this you can see the secret is there you can do a, a base 64 decoding also for this echo this abc.domain.com is not the valid domain so but still it has created a secret for you and who has done it it, act it is actually being done by third manager helm chart which is actually linked to your let secret uh, sorry let's encrypt uh, uh, authority and the uh, certificate authority so see the certificate is also being created but this is not a valid certificate because domain name is not correct anyway so this is what i want to show you before i to get into the service so k port forward of grafana will simply try to do a local port forwarding now i'll do a copy and then i'll come here and then do a this okay see now it has you know quietly and politely has moved to abc domain dot com dot grafana anderson if this would have been a proper dns then your grafana might be you know up and running here so everything and this would be secure as a current it is not secure why it is not secure because this domain is not correct now what you need to do in your uh, you know working environment just replace this domain with the actual domain and this will work perfectly and there's no doubt about it and so so let me quickly revise the step what we did so that it becomes crystal clear bring up your cluster it can be uh, a mini cube cluster or any other cluster bring up your nginx ingress controller to manage the load balancing now install the cert manager and chart for managing your let's encrypt certificates automatically so that you don't need to worry and then uh, you know uh, install you know, this cluster issuer prd for managing your all the certificates not only one and give your email id which will store all the secrets in the repository so next step is install and configure grafana with the proper domain and the cert manager configuration with this you know uh, file so so that is pretty much let me take a pause uh, and you know uh, summarize what we did we just simply install all three components you know one by one and then try to pull it with the grafana for bringing up the uh, url so that's pretty much about this, you know uh, video if you have any doubts and queries about this video which is a very very important please you know post it into the comment section we'll try to answer it and uh, we'll make your secure grafana i will make your grafana secure and you know working properly so do just do not forget to like and subscribe the channel from here and uh, do watch the earlier video which will make a proper understanding for you for you know, implementing anything okay that's it for now see you later bye bye